Nobody wins when the family feels. Hey, Antonio. Come talk to us. It's the police department. What's that? The detective here wants to talk to you. I'm not really sure what it's about. Tony, hey, my name's Detective Chicha. I'm with the Principal Police Department. Uh -huh. um, your name's come up in an investigation that I'm conducting. Okay. And I was hoping you come back to the police department. Okay, when? Right now, it's... You went with this week while you were dropping off tires and stuff like that? Yeah, uh... I had a female around with me, but she's a dog. She's a what? She's a dog. An adult? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And so what is her name? Uh, yeah. All I know is back pretty. Pretty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if it's a, if it's a dark skinned female that stayed on Belmont. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, her family has reported missing, so that's how we ended up here. Oh. So, can you tell me how you met Brittany? Oh, oh, yeah. So, the Tuesday, and I, I'm not familiar, what website is this? Or oh, it's a location? Tag. Okay. Well, Mikhail, that's okay. what all this all is right. about, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, sugarcoat it. Um, mm -hmm. Mikhail's the last person to see her alive. Right? It's, how has Mikhail been the last few days? I was he talk I know I y'all know what's going on. He he been a self. He been a self. He, 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 nah, nah. he been trying to cooperate with the police department to I try to help find him. this girl because I will say that. You know, you so know. like that. She just worked for me and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's it. But I met her off stand, you know what I'm saying? You met Gail off tag. That's what the, the website's called. The website's called tag. Hey, so that search warrant that we read to you, you get a copy of it, you get a copy of the property record, it says we collected those buckle swabs and your work boots, okay? So you get out, you come find me, I'll give you your boots back, alright? Um, he had me his wallet, hold on. Wallet, my phone, my we, phone. We've taken all your phones, alright? We did search warrant at your house, we're still on your house right now, okay? Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on, right? Mm. Stuff we try to talk about in the future if you want to talk to me, you got my number, this is my cell phone number. This is my phone. This is my cell phone number. Yeah. If you want to talk, you know how to get hold of me, right? So I can't get my phone with another. No, sir. So when I'm done with your phones, you can get them back. We're going to download them, and it will, we will give them back to you. So if you get out, come find me, and we'll see where they're at as far as processing them, okay? Um, but I'll, I will give them back to you when we're done with them. But I don't think you have a bond. He has no bond, right? No bond. You don't have a bond? I'll carry it for you. You don't have a bond? You don't have a bond tonight. Why you got no bond? No, it's because tampering with evidence is considered an offense that does not get you a bond until you are before a judge for your first time. Tampering with evidence about what? I've already explained this, man. I'm deleting need the footage. You don't need a copy of that, do you? I already have. This is part one of this series. Fam, you know we switch it up and talk about it all. But for those who don't know, welcome to the Family TV, where we uncover the stories that resonate with the heart of every family. Today, we dive into a cautionary tale that highlights the dangers of the digital age. In a world where connections are just a swipe away, look through the eyes of a suspect who almost got away with M1. We also look through the eyes of the boys and girls in blue as we follow the tragic journey of a young mother who searched for a quick dollar and love led to a devastating end through the lens of multiple interrogations and untold confessions. But before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna jump right to it. Online dating has become increasingly popular over the years, offering a convenient way for people to meet potential partners. But like any other method of dating, online dating has its pros and cons. I mean, it is convenient. It also expands the dating pool. It got filtering options, and also getting to know someone before meeting them. It also increases your chances of finding the match. But it has some cons as well, like misrepresentation, limited information, the risk of being scammed or defrauded, overwhelming choices, or lack of face-to-face -face interactions. Today, we talk about a mother of four from Pensacola, Florida, who seems to use social media, one particular site, as her way to meet multiple men. 
in her community. Her name was Kayla Atwood, and her site by choice was Tag. The mother of four was last seen on January 3rd, 2024, on surveillance camera, getting into a yellow Pazinski moving truck after dropping her children off at daycare. She never picked the children up later in the day. Police was investigating her disappearance for a week. So the first thing police did after talking to the daycare was get in contact of the person who was driving that yellow Pazinski moving truck. And on January 7th, 2024, police would locate Antonio, a man in his 50s who happens to be at his home. <laughs> That's what that says? Yeah. Come on in, sir. Good. Yep. He's very far all the way, no positive. Hey Antonio, come talk to us. It's the police department. What's that? The detective here wants to talk to you. I'm not really sure what it's about. Yeah, I've got traffic here. The burden off on you, but definitely. It's coming through the house. Just some stuff we gotta get straightened out. I don't know if anybody else is here, but it's really nice. I'm glad to see somebody talk. No, I'm saying ain't nobody here. Okay. If uh, well, man, cause I got to, you know, I got to work tonight. Now. Yeah. I'm it shouldn't take too I... long. Um, you can drive your car down, and that way you can get back and stuff. But... Hey, come up in the back of the case. Yeah, we'll get figured out, but like I said, as much as you can do. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh. Who I asked for? Me. What's your name? Yeah, I'll wait for you. I'm gonna follow you down there. Okay. Now, Antonio would later go to the police station. This is what he had to say on how he met her, when he last seen her, and what they did when they was together. That's okay. work uh, for Lutheran service. What do you do? I work at a kid's shelter. Okay. Like one of our local ones? Mm -hmm. Which one do you work at? What did they have you doing with that? Well, I work watch the kids at night. Okay. Is that anything that we utilize? Like as law enforcement, do we ever work with y'all for that? Uh, they bring kids. Is that like, is it the Curry House? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I've been doing that about six months. Six months? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, how long have you been at that address then? 
Got that one too. Was it well, Saber Drive? Yeah, I've been there about five years. Are you from Pensacola? No, from Michigan. Michigan. What brought you down here? Uh, my brother, he stayed out here. Okay. Yeah, so uh, he came and went to school. Liked it, so he stayed? Yeah, I'm staying. So, like I said, we do have a report. Um, we're investigating a missing person, and I don't know if you know her, but her name's Kayla Atwood. Are you familiar with that name? Okay. Um, so during my investigation, your name came up, so I want to talk to you and see if you've had any contact with Kayla or any know anything about her or anything like that. Okay. Um, so, this week, did you did you work this week, I'm assuming? Well, yeah, I worked. Okay. The Jones Interstate, I'm not familiar with that. Where, where's that at? It's a tire place called Pilot Fox. Okay, the tire place from Pilot Fox. So, during this week, did you have any contact with any... Do you have a girlfriend, wife? You don't have any girlfriend or anything like that. Um, did you have any females that you came in contact with this week that you wouldn't typically? Okay. So, and the reason I'm asking this, right, is because this isn't something that I just got today. It's something I've been investigating for a little while now. Um, so going forward, I just want to urge you to be honest, okay? Because whatever we talk about doesn't matter. But basically, the reason that we ended up here is because you, you drive like a yellow Pinsky truck, right? Yeah. So that yellow Pinsky truck is seen on video camera. And Kayla is seen getting into that. So is there anybody that you went with this week while you were dropping off tires and stuff like that? Yeah. Uh, I had a female rat with me, but she's a dog. She's a what? She's a dog. An adult? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, what is her name? Uh, yeah. All I know is that pretty. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a if it's a dark skinned female that stayed on, they mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So her family has reported missing. So that's how we ended up here. Oh. So can you tell me how you met Pretty? On oh, online. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, she rolled with me. Uh, when did y'all start talking? Uh, I, I, uh, let me see what day was that. That was Tuesday. I think she rolled with me Tuesday. So the Tuesday, and I'm not familiar. What website is this? Or is oh, it's Tag. Tag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so it just says yes. Do you have a vehicle? Was there any conversation before that? No, no. What it, actually, what it was is she asked me to drop, drop her kids off at daycare. Okay. And it, that That was on Tuesday. Yeah, that was Tuesday. Uh, you know about what time you probably picked him up? Uh, that was early. Nine. Nine and so then you take kids over school, drop them off, and then what do y'all do the rest of the day? Well, she rode with me, and then I dropped her off. Oh, two o'clock. That was Friday, Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, that's what we're looking into, right? Um, so, can you take me through? Oh, I see that one more time. Is there any other? Can you tell me any other conversation that y'all had? Like, do y'all text or call each other? Yeah, she. Uh, yeah, when I pulled up, she did call me. Yeah, 
Okay, but just take a picture of this with myself. Yeah. I probably don't need some more from that tag, but it's just it's too much right now. Yeah. But that, that was that little conversation. That was it. Okay. You know, tag. Can you take me back to the tag? Yeah. The tag, so the tag. The tag, I'm sorry. I'll just take some photos of it real quick. I have a short term memory, so I'll forget, forget things. So yeah, we don't have, have you ever talked to her or anything before that? Not at all. You don't know her. You never seen her around before, nothing. Okay, so Tuesday, I saw the tag. You ask her, or she asked you, I think, to take the kids over to school, drop them off, and then where do y'all go after school on Tuesday? Well, we uh she rode with me on my route. Okay, so what's the first route y'all went to? We went to Lillian and To, we went to uh, Bar Secure. Okay. I was still the same area. Okay. And then, uh, I don't know, because we, we was out to two that day. Okay. And I brought her home back. And so, did y'all go anywhere else besides the tire shops that day? I dropped her off, you know, once I. Once I dropped her off, I went back to work and then I punched on the house. Where did you drop her off at that day? At home. At home again? That's so her you house her home. Yeah, her off? yeah. Okay. Um, did she, uh, that seems like a long time to be in a car with someone you don't know, right? So I'm sure y'all had a lot of conversation or shared interests and stuff like that. Can you take me through what y'all talked about or what she said or anything? I was mean, talking about basic stuff, uh, stuff on YouTube, you know, saying music. But she liked to eat, mm -hmm. you know, dances. She mainly was on her doing the live, on her on the phone. She, oh, she liked doing videos, and I was driving. Okay. Do you know what application that live was on? Uh, Whether it was Facebook or Instagram? I don't know. She was just doing videos. She thought, okay. like, doing videos. What was she saying in the videos? Or? Like, she just... I know she was like, oh, look at those, or what? Oh, no, okay. she just, so I don't know if she was on live or just doing videos. Did she talk about anybody that day? Okay. Um, so, yeah, what whenever you showed up to pick her up, can you take me through y'all's initial interaction? I, I imagine it's probably weird, you know, y'all never met or whatever. Can you take me through y'all's initial, like, first meeting that day? Well, she just... Came on, knocked up with the kids and got in the truck. Oh, no. Did you get out? No. Did, did you ever go inside your residence? No. Did the kids talk to you? No, not really. They little kids. How old would you say? It's about one, about three or four. Both of them could be about five. Okay. Yeah. So a little, a little. Like, yeah. you probably can't talk too good yet. Yeah, okay. they didn't say nothing. Did you see the other kids? There's two more kids inside. Did you see or interact with anybody else? There was a guy who pulled up. Okay. He pulled up and I guess she was talking to him. And I remember him bagging up, asking me, do she work with me? He was like, pull off, pull off. And I was like, what? And I just pulled on off. Did you talk to him? No. What did he look like? He was a dark skinned guy. It looked like he had a pool. Like a pool kind of truck. I don't know if it was pool stuff on the back. Do you remember what color it was or what kind of it truck? It was a wall white truck, pickup truck. New or older? Older truck. Okay. Like a work truck. And did you hear did you hear the conversation that they had? No. No. It was behind the cab. 
So he kind of came, that car came up from behind you? We, I was sitting there, he pulled up. And when she came out, he pulled like that. Okay, so you were sitting here and he pulled up like this? Yeah, right behind the truck, talking to her. And when you went to pick her up, I know I'm asking a lot of old questions, but it matters, okay? When you went to pick her up that first day, what route did you take? Do you remember what street you went down or how you got to Texas. her house? I, did you go down Pace or did you go down like a letter street? I went down Pace to uh, turned on Jackson. That community health place, I turned there. Okay, you turned back to New York. Yeah, Billmore. Okay, and then when you left, did you go like kind of a big square back? Back out. Yeah. Okay. Then you went back out, and then when she initially got in the truck, did she say anything about anything? Or about what who that guy was, or what that interaction was about? Or she was just like, put off. That's my brother. He he knows. He doesn't <laughs> too much stuff. I just pull it on. Okay. And then y'all go drop the kids off. And do you remember anything else that she may have said about anybody or anything or any, anything that she's going through in life or anything? It was just kind of yeah, superficial. Yeah, never talked to me about that, you know, nothing outside of, you know, Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. math and radio. But, and I'm not familiar with the tagged website, so inform me if you can. But is tagged like one of those hookup dating it's sites or whatever? Dating sites. So when you match with somebody, like, do you expect to meet to hook up, or did y'all ever discuss that? Oh, you know what? When she asked me, did I have a, a ride? I asked her, you know, yeah, why? And then she asked me, she was trying to take her kids to daycare. I told her, I'll, I'll take you. And then she say, hey, I'll ride with you. You know what I'm saying? I say, you sure? I'm going to ride down the mountain. She said, I'll ride with you. And she rode with me. She ain't got nothing to do that. You know, she rode with me out of the mountain. Okay. Yeah, she was cool. Cool. You know what I'm saying? That's why. Yeah, that's messed up. So that, when you go to drop her off, you have to drop her off before you go back to work? Yeah, I dropped her off at home. Okay. And when you drop her off, how did you get to her house? Same way, cause see, I took, uh, I came around the freeway, up Cervantes, to Pace, Jackson, that community health a bit more. Uh, they sent that around. Yeah. And you dropped her off around two. Um, did you say anything upon your goodbyes? You know, did y'all make plans for any future stuff? Like, what was the, you know, talk had a good time? Or? Yeah, just thanks. Have fun. Uh, talk to you later. Did y'all arrange to like meet in the future again or something like that? Uh, did she say that she had anything coming up? Did she tell you anything about her personal life? No. Okay. Did she say that she had anything going on later in the day? No. Yeah, like I say, you know, when I just pull it on up, dropped off, I'll see you later. She didn't say anything about this. Did she say anything about any issues with anybody? No. Okay. And so. Do y'all talk again that day after that? No. No, no calls, texts, Snapchat? No. The, 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 uh, the last day, no. I never called her back. She never called me back. Okay. And so the next day, can you take me through that next day? Next day, uh, about the same kind of day. <laughs> Pull up about 9.30. That day, you know, it took a minute to get the kids and stuff ready. Okay. Now that day, her, her son, one of her sons did come out there and put the baby in the truck. Okay. Yeah. That was it, you know. She never said nothing about nothing. So, I heard you get there. Yeah. Were y'all texting or were y'all texting at the time? Uh, Tagged? You know, she, because she had text off her, off her phone. You know, like I said. Okay, hold on. Okay, so she hits you up again. That's about what? 8.30, what are you doing? Okay. So, 8.30 hits you up. You pick her about 9.30. Probably come in the same way, Pace to Jackson. Or no, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, Pace to Jackson, same, Jackson yeah, now. Freeway, I'll pick her up. Around, yeah. Kid walks out, puts in the car. Um, does she say anything while she's getting in that day? 
Mm-hmm. They go on with her. The kids, one of the kids was, was eating. And she was fussing at her, telling her to hurry up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That was it. Did anybody else come out that day besides that kid? Any other conversations? One kid came out, put the baby in the truck. Which kid? Do you remember about how old that kid was? Mm-hmm. And so you take her to the kids' daycare. And how did you, what route do you take? Forty-five. And can you take me through your day, y'all's day, then? Uh, she actually rode with me. When just delivered tires, you know, stopped, got something to eat, brought her on home. Do you remember what stop she went to that day? Uh, I stopped and got some crunchy chicken. Got stopped and got some crunchy chicken. Where at? At, uh, that was in Boca. Is that the first place y'all went? Was for crunchy chicken? Uh, first place was Lillian. First place y'all went? Yeah, I stopped at Lillian, uh huh, and rode 90. The 90 and 98 out the way out. I'm not familiar with what you're talking about. <laughs> um, so I imagine you have like certain stops that you have along the way. Um, for what are, what do you deliver? Tires. Do you deliver the tires over there? It's not far for some tires. Um, but you did you know what route you had when you went in there that day, or is it just that you show up and you yeah. get whatever route you get? Yeah, they call. As long as long as they call before a certain time, like that. Okay, cool. So. That Wednesday, can you take me through where y'all went? Mm-hmm. Like I say, I know that. That was Lily. Like, like from start to finish, take yeah. me through your day. I remember uh, we went to Bar Secure because I said, on the way back, I grabbed that chicken. Um, from there, I think we went to. Theodore at Grand Bay and came on back. Alright, so you, I'm not familiar with these stops, but the first one you think was Lillian. And then the second one was someplace called Bond Secure. And then where did, did you get the chicken after that? Yeah, the chicken, I got the chicken in Bond Secure. Yeah. Where'd you get chicken from? It was Crunchy's chicken. Crunchy's, was it? Where did you buy it from, though? Yeah, that's where it's in the gas station called Crunchy's chicken. Do you remember which gas station it was? Uh, Is it by the tire shop? Yeah, well, it's, it's, uh, it's on the road. I can't think of the county road or something. 62 or something like that. Did she get out and go in and get chicken with you? Uh, yeah. Is she getting out of the tire shops too? No. Okay. So she goes, gets chicken, what's she there, and then do y'all go to like a Theodore shop after that? Yeah, grab some tires off in Theodore. Okay. And then Grand Bay? Grand Bay. And then you came back? Grand Bay. And when you come back, what highway do you bring home? Uh, 10. So you bring I-10 all the way home? Yeah, we tend to uh, Cervantes, to Pace, to Jackson, and straight okay. line the county. Uh, the whole loop again? Yeah. Okay. And about what time do you think you dropped her off at? No, about 2, 2.30. Uh, 2.30-ish? Yeah. And so that day, did she mention anything going on in her life or any hardships, any issues she has with anybody? Do you, do you leave her in Alabama anywhere? Oh, no. No? <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's why I said she was cool. I don't... What can you tell me about her? I mean, very nice person. You know what I'm saying? Uh, being in love with kids. I mean, there ain't too much I can really tell you about her, but... 
Y'all spent two days in a car, you know? <laughs> With this ride? Okay. Yeah, you know. Me, I'm nosy. I just get to know people. You know? Yeah. So, you know, I had, we had the radio going. Oh, she over there playing with her phone. I'm a nervous talker. I sit yeah. there and talk ear off the whole time. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, that's what it was. She just playing with her phone. You know, talk every now and then. You know, she had chat and listen to the music. Okay. Um... So she didn't say she had no issues with nobody. Did she say, did she say she worked or what she did for work? Uh, she wasn't working. She uh, said she was trying to find a job. Okay. That's what she told me. She said that her last job was uh, midnight. So I was telling her I worked midnight. So she was like, yeah, I couldn't work midnight because she got little ones. Little one. She had problems having her mother watch her kids is what she told me. Did she say anything about the children's father? Anything like that? Just trying to think of everything, you know. Yeah. So, um, she never really talked to me about another person. So, um, and I have to ask, we're talking about the whole tag thing. Was there any type of agreement or arrangement for like sex for pay? No. Texas. It doesn't matter, but once she's that did you ever. No. Did she ever um, we know. help her? No. Did y'all do anything? No, never. We never even talked about it. Like it. You know what I'm saying? She got in, we just started kicking it. It was like, boom, we end up hanging out for two days. That's you know? crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we never nothing that, you know, never solicited her. She never even uh, act like we, we found each other attractive. You know, we were just kicking it. It was okay. cool. Uh, any flirting and stuff like no, that? No, not really. And the, the only reason I ask is because the further that I keep digging into this, right, the more that's going to come up. So she does have, like, Chime accounts or cash apps or bank accounts or whatever that I still have to process, right? Just like I'm still processing video footage. I'm still processing, you know, like there's GPS trackers and stuff like that. So um, if there was any type of arrangements or... Transactions, not that you're in trouble, but I just no. need to know. Yeah, I'm being honest, that's why I say this this tripped me out, you know what I'm saying? We had, you know, we, we kicked it, we had fun, but nothing, no touch there. You know, we talked sexually to her, you know, she was cool. Okay, so she was all right. Uh, you drop her off probably around 2.30. Do you have, like when I go places, I, did you plug it into a GPS? Do you have like, a GPS running while you're driving? No. Would you have it on your phone as far as when she would have got dropped off or when or when you're running routes, do they do you have GPS plugged in when you're running routes as well? No, because most of the most of the routes I know. You know already. Okay, so is there any way to verify that whenever you get there, like do you have to, I'm assuming when you go to a tire shop, you probably have to like check in with them and get them signed paperwork or yeah. something like, how would I verify that you're at these places when you say you're there? Well, you know, just do sign in, have to deliver tires, he sign the invoice, I go. Okay, so they sign so, in and yeah, it's the sign the invoice. It's not, not like no time checking, just keep, keep moving. Okay. Um, and so whenever you drop her off at 2.30, is, you know, how do you all depart ways or what do you say or, you know, how does yeah. that go? Yeah. See you later. You know what I'm saying? Do you go outside with her? No. You know, kept on, went back to work. Got, you know, about time to get off, so I dropped her off. Went on, got, got in my truck and went home. Do you have any pictures with her? Can I Boston. Big football. Is it okay if I go to like here? 
believe it's so. Yep, yep. you can tell me about her that would help in my investigation anything you could think of what do you think happened to her like where do you think she would be at i don't know honestly someone that like that's just a rumor that she may be in mobile right so is there any chance that like that's why i asked you like did you leave or something <laughs> okay you know like to say uh but sure, kids can verify it. They was at home that day. You can see them. I dropped her off. Did anybody come outside when you dropped her off? Mm -hmm. She just walked in? Yeah. Did she say how she was going to pick the kids up? No. She said she had to pick them up at 6. I think. I think I was going home. I had to work. So. Did she, do you know who picked the kids up the day before? Like, you all got them off the horse, but do you know who would have picked them up the day before? Two o'clock in the morning. And have y'all had contact since that second interaction? Okay. Has she texted or called? Have you texted or called? You know, uh, one day uh, when I dropped her off, the phone rang. I said, hello, guy. I just hung up. That was it. Did you hear anything? Did they say anything? Because, see, I know, you know, I thought about that the other guy. She was just like, you know, and put on off. That was my brother. I'm like, way well, he asked me questions. You know, it couldn't have been your brother. But what was he asking you? No, he, he asked me, did she, uh, she work with me? She must have told him that, uh, that she was going to work. She said, she worked with you? She said, put off. That's my brother. He's just being nosy. She's like, where y'all work at you? I just pulled it off. Wow. So he dropped her off around 2.30. About what time do you think she called you? No, she didn't call. The, the phone had just called back. And it and they do say hello. And I just hung up. What do you mean the phone call? I'm sorry. Her, her, her number. Her, did you call her? Did she call no, you? No, her number called my phone back. Okay. But I didn't, you know, when I seen it was a dude, I didn't, I didn't ask, you know. Do you have that call history? I don't know. Let me see if, if it's still on here. Yeah. So you got this incoming call around 239. Yeah. I just dropped her off. How long between do you think when you dropped her off till you got that call? Uh, about five minutes. About five minutes. And I, didn't, I didn't even ask her, you know. I said, I said hello. She's like, who's this? And I just clicked. That's what the person said? Yeah. Yes, calling the numbers back. And so, did you, whenever you dropped her off, um, you said you didn't go inside. Did you see anybody around at that time? Did you, did she say that she had plans later in the afternoon at all? Were her kids home? Were her, no, because she had like an older kid or whatever. Were they home at that time? Uh, I, I'm assuming she said it was. But, but that was the morning you saw it. Because I was seen the one, the one kid that came, brought the little kid out. Okay. That was that same day. Um, and this might be a weird question, but that white truck that you saw the day before, did you see it that day? I see it that day. 
Did you see any other cars or people around that would have been suspicious or anything? No. Just got on that truck and walked on the house. Okay. But that's all the time, y'all. I know I'm good at anything. Yeah. Okay. It's okay if I take photos of this, too. It's okay if I go back to your call log and just see the other times y'all had calls. I don't care about any of this other stuff. There's a way, I'm going to go find her name in your call record, if that's okay, in your phone. I'm just going to look up pretty. And then, from here, there should be a way to find y'all's history together. As far as what she called, right? So we have that phone call. Pretty, there's two phone calls here. So that was on the third. Does this mean, so this was Wednesday morning, I'm assuming, when you went to pick her up. It says canceled and then outgoing. So one of those is just those two days. Now. So can you tell me what that was? What's that? Night, it's at 9, 12 in the morning. I don't know if she called you or you called her, and then it looks like y'all talked for five seconds. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Either, either or, let me know that she ready. You know, oh, okay. Drop, yeah, that was in the morning. I dropped her kids off. So this is on Tuesday at 4 p.m. for 45 seconds. Do you remember what that... Let's start in the morning time now. That was probably the first phone calls y'all had together. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is Tuesday morning, 916, 51 seconds. Uh, can you take me through that conversation? Uh, let me know where she stayed at. Matter of fact, I got, uh, going over there, I got an loss. Okay. Because, uh, it took me to Navy. And then the way, the way the streets come around, you can't. You know, you can't get straight yeah. to the line. So you're just trying to figure out where she's at. Yeah. Okay. That's what that's this one is at noon, 1230. Do you remember this phone call? She called me while I was in a uh, store. Okay. Yeah. What'd she say? Uh, no, I, I missed the call. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the first call, second call, missed it. Uh, same thing Tuesday. This is about 313. Do you remember that? 313. What is that? Uh, yeah. It said canceled. I'm assuming like that means incoming. That means missed. And then Wednesday morning there was two. Said, just try to call and say that you were there or something. Not well. That's 2:39 p.m. That's when you're saying that the. The phone, yeah, the phone called you, yeah. and it was an open line. Well, that incoming call, and that was the last call that, that uh, yeah, when you know, when the heck, Did she text you after that or anything? No, no, the dude called, and, uh, like I said, I just didn't, I didn't answer. You know what I'm saying, so. Okay, so, I think we have a pretty good timeline now, right? And my goal is I'm going to go back and verify all of that. So I want to make sure that she is in the car for the stops on Tuesday. She's still in the car for the stops on Wednesday. She gets out of your vehicle Wednesday uh, because I think Wednesday after noon is when we're kind of missing what, whatever happened, right? So if there's any involvement that you would have had in that, then we need to know now so we can talk about that. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's crazy that, you know, this. Just, it's great. I mean, honestly, but uh, yeah, you can verify. You know, you know. Do you do y'all have any um, people that y'all know in common? No. Nope. Are you on her Facebook? No. Nope. No. What's nope, your Facebook? I just, sir? I just, I just met her. Do you have a Facebook? Yeah, I have a Facebook. What's your name on Facebook? Uh, Antonio L. Morrison. That's 
ist das Herz. Hey, So y'all, as far as you know, do y'all you have any friends in common or any people that would know her? That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Did you talk about her with anybody? No, I met her those that those two times. Did you tell anybody that you're picking her up? No. Does anybody know she was with you? No. That's what I say. I you know picked her up twice, brought her to come. Unfortunately, right, we have a missing girl, and she hasn't been located. And you are one of the last people to be seen with her, right? That's crazy. And do you, do you see how that looks, though? Yeah, that, I mean, that's, that's real crazy, though. So, her family is obviously looking for answers, we're looking for answers. And one of those main key things that we've talked about is the, that tagged account, this phone call, stuff like that okay um so unfortunately i am gonna have to keep the phone to get that data off of it i understand that you have work and stuff and i do want to get you the contacts and stuff you need it's a sunday i don't have anybody to process this today otherwise i'd give it back to you right now okay but the, i just want to explain to you the road that we're at okay so heaven forbid there's something that wrong with this girl or she needs help you know did she ever mention that she was pregnant to you so, you know, there's a worry that she may need medical help because of that or something, okay? Um, 
I do have to have this, okay? But our, I, I want to get it processed for you as fast as possible. Um, I'm hoping I can have a digital forensic examiner come in on Monday, okay? But something I want to talk to you about is just consent. Um, I'm going to go see if, if, you, my stuff, huh? but if you give me consent to try to document it real quick. Um, I think we would still need the download, but that's something I gotta go discuss with my sergeant, right? Um, would you give me consent to keep this phone so we can process it for that? Oh, man. I understand I can't live without my phone either, but I mean, uh, it, I just told you where we're at with this, okay? It's, it's a pretty serious deal. Um, you know, I'm afraid that something has happened to her. Dang. Okay, and so that's what we're trying to figure out. And, you know, the seat you're sitting in either your name's cleared or it's not. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I do I get And so, you know, did you have anything to do with her disappearance? No. No way. Okay. Did you do anything to harm her? No way. I would I would not. And I hope y'all find her, but oh man, how do I get caught up in this? You know what I'm saying? Be the last person with her. I don't, I don't see how her phone gets cut off right after you drop her off. Yeah. With her phone call my phone but that's the last i'm telling you i've reviewed her phone records that is the last interaction she's had was that phone call i mean i have it on my computer the last interaction she had was the phone call she placed to you that's crazy okay hang on so when would i get my phone back as soon as i can get it downloaded okay yeah, i got it you know, on the interstate so you're sure that that last phone call was her calling you back? Yeah, dude, it was a dude. It wasn't her. Somebody just hung up. You're positive? Yeah. Okay. And those are some of those, those, are some of those questions I needed to answer today. Yeah. Okay, so I appreciate your honesty and your cooperation, right? But unfortunately, that's the, the, the seat you're sitting in right now. So in order to get all this cleared up and get your name cleared, which I'm sure you want done, yeah, right? Yes. I have to keep this, okay? Like I'll let you get it, okay? But I gotta go get a form to fill it out, okay? One second. We'll, we'll, we'll get it out. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, a female named Pretty then got tagged after texting back and forth. She asked if I can bring her kids to school at about 9.30. I arrived, dropped the kids. She wrote me on my stops. Afterwards, I dropped her off around 2.30. Um, she texted me again, asked if I could take her to drop her kids off. They got in and we rode. We dropped the kids off. She wrote me again after all deliveries. I dropped her off about 2.30 p.m. After leaving, my phone rang from her phone, but it was a man, so I did not answer her. Alrighty. You swear that's the, the truth? Swear. You swear the yeah. statements you've given me today, I guess, are the truth. Honest to God. Oh, hell to God. Um, because that, I mean, that, other than lying, that's the only way you will get tripped up right now. Um, is there anything, and I just say this to everybody, is there anything that we need to clear the air about, or maybe you were hesitant to discuss with me? Open and honest with everything. Okay. That's just how, you know, the two days went. I hope, hope that can help you, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, that's, damn. Thanks. He's coming back. Both days, I mean, we hurt. Yeah, I guess you didn't turn your slip in until a little too late or something. Like, uh, they had to get processed the day after. So is there a reason that you were back late on Wednesday? I think I dropped off about 2.30, you know, I'd have been back about 2, two o'clock. Did you go anywhere else after dropping her off on Wednesday? Like on your way back to work, did you go anywhere after dropping her off or anything like that? Okay. Trying to get the truck back, you know. 
Uh, do you have any questions for us? Man, I hope y'all find their mask. This is crazy. Do you have any questions for us? I'll see if you hear from her. Hear anything about it? Call us. Yeah. Uh, call her number. So as you can see, they met on tag the day before, and he was asked to even drop Atwood's kids off to daycare after not even meeting them. Now fam, I wanna point out something before we continue. In that interrogation, did you guys notice how many times the detective deliberately locked the phone to try to get Antonio to put the password in? Either her or the cop could look at. But at this point, police got a new suspect, the guy who allegedly called Antonio on the phone and said, who this, before hanging up, and pulled up and asked him, do she work for you? Mikhail Fountain, just 34 years old. And at first, he was arrested with tampering with evidence. You'll later see why in the confession, which is why we made this a series and not just one video. But the first thing police did was go to his address, which was the address he lived with his mother. They arrested him in a car as he was pulling up. Now after that clip, you'll later see in the interrogation that he was asked that he have more than one phone. He said no, but he also deleted evidence from out that phone, which was some messages between him and Atwood. But he also went to Atwood neighbor house who can see who go in and out her house from her doorbell camera before police saw it. <laughs> What's up, guys? What do y'all need help with? Let me check on something, too. If, if we're able to get your car to pull out, and if you want to sit in your car, and if you see it, I mean, if that's something, would that be something? That's not something, Michael. Michael? Yeah, he done went to the academy and all that for this way. Then, you know, he know all about the law. Okay, I got you. That's you just got some coffee or something in there? This my reason. I don't want no coffee. I want a warm house. That's some more coffee. I just had coffee. I don't want no coffee. That's some coffee. I'm trying to pour it on my head right now. Good thing I ain't got the doo doo. That means I can't go in my house for shit. Wow. Good thing I pissed before I left for work. For real, for real. <clears throat> well, hell, what y'all three news at? I don't see them. Summer. Surprised you don't. <laughs> exactly. Give me some fame. It's cold as hell like this, though. Oh, it is. Yes. Quiet neighbors, though. Yeah. Everybody over there? Yeah, quiet. Yeah, it's real quiet. That's why I like it. <laughs> Come on, see. <laughs> when I first moved here, someone said, "You know, you know." He said, "You know how many people are dead out here?" I said, mm -mm. "He said all of them." I said, "Yeah, but no." I hope so. <laughs> then that, I that's a good looking, thing. I see my name right there, my birthday over there. Uh uh. <laughs> yeah, this a big yeah. <laughs> and this man go see his wife every day faithfully. Okay. This is hard. Right. So um. Michael, right? That's Michael. Yeah, if, if you want, if after you want sitting with our feet on, okay. it's cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's cold. cold. I know, I'm sitting here, my face burns. Yeah, it's cold. Um, but if that's something you want to do, you know, I, I want to, I want to be uncomfortable to be in this. Right, never. But, but, but I would like to accommodate you. Possibly, but still, we have to work out. Well, I'm stopping you calling your dog. You're stopping you calling my house. That's all. That's all. I'm going to call my house. I'm glad my brother's not being there. She's over here. I think. Is that your husband? He's walking over here. He's coming to the backside. Hey, sweetie. There she is. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm get this coffee. I thought you were going to tell maybe you wanted to drink. That's cold. I'm cold, 
<laughs> Trying to hand you stuff. Don't hand me Trust me, I've been out here Trust longer. me, look, they need to get the shit together. You heard that? Been able to be all over there. Y'all can be able to do what y'all want to do. That's not fair having us. I'm glad it's not raining. I heard that. Thank God it wasn't last night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Out here in a tropical storm. Tower yeah. tornado. That's the son that's in the academy? Or was? Yes, yes. Yeah. I guess yeah. the other one is the uh, at the station right now. Yeah. Wait, so it's one uh, heard correctly? Yeah, yeah. I guess how many houses, but there's one down there, possibly this one too, and the truck. I mean, there's a lot of. They don't even want to know. Because he is like, I, once you know, you get called yeah. in. Yeah. I'm just late. here. <laughs> no other dogs? Uh, <laughs> One in the backyard tied up. It was a goat in the backyard? Huh? The goat back there? Oh, shit. Oh, it was a pig. I don't know about a goat. I couldn't get close enough. That dog was acting crazy. Yeah. All right, walk in with me, man. <laughs> All right, I don't want to shoot somebody, man. Who are you talking about? I'll just pop that in because I got this. <sighs> Brazil, how's it going? Good, how are you, man? All right, you want to pick the snake? No, I'm good. All right, buddy. Good? This goes outside. This yes, sir. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Yeah, I'm yeah, the goat's in the pen. You see the pig and the goat there. Are you scared of that dog too? No. Can that dog be with the other dog? Uh uh. No? No. Alright, well we may get to a point where you gotta come get this one too. Okay. Uh, there's nowhere to put them, so you just hold on to them while we look out there. Alright. Okay. Do that or? Yeah, or, 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 or,
Had the strangers at the door got excited. Where's the kangaroo at? That's the dog. Oh, okay. I see the sign. We wear a kangaroo or whatever. Oh, that's it. He, he can have one back. He's got 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 um, no, he's on, like, this girl here, this is the only girl, he, he didn't know her that damn long. I think they met on the 11th. Yeah, a month or two. Yeah. yeah. So, they broke up on the 31st. Do you understand why we're here, though? Yeah, I understand. That's the damn sister's been harassing me on Facebook. Talking about, your brother is the last person been with my sister. And, you know, that's probably not true. I wouldn't argue with that. Is there uh, is it, has he talked about her? I mean, she's harassing you. Why does he feel harassed? He ain't told me nothing about that because I'm on the road with him six times. So, uh, he ain't told me anything about that. Where is he working? Yeah, he is a disability. Well, like he has a mechanic shirt on. Or yeah, he doing mechanic work on the side. So he's not working. He just lives on his disability. Because I know he was into her, was paying some of her bills for her, buying yeah. her baby diapers and stuff. Yeah, he just that type of person. He like he's like he's like my dad. They they, they give her, you know. If they need help, they need you know, help, do what they can. Did he but, say you really like her? This might be the right girl for him? Um, I, I don't know. I haven't known her that long. Um, I don't know her at all. But, uh, I guess it was, I don't know. Uh, it just seemed, seemed like it was going good. It seemed like it was happy. She seemed happy. She seemed happy. Uh, that he saw him some Mexican guy in a Pisky truck. Right. That's all I know. Supposed to be with her, like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not around it. So. Is he a river around your mom? Right here. I have a one. 
I do need to talk to you. I have to ask you a Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Other than that, yeah, it should... does he need to read it, or you want to read it, or somebody needs to read it so he can go ahead and start taking photos? I got to read it. Well, I'm not reading it. You don't. You don't have to read it. You just have to read it to the house. You got gloves on? Oh, the circuit no, no. four of the first initial circuit in and from Scandi County, Florida. Stand right here for me. I'll be right back with Scandi. No. He's got to take pictures. Yeah. What about being in the name of the state of Florida to all in singular, the chief of police for the city of Pensacola and any of his or her duly qualified officers of Scammy County, Florida. F. David, having been sworn to the Honorable Young Circuit County Court Judge in and for the First Judicial Circuit of Scammy County, Florida by Brendan Brown Detective. Explain why we're here, okay? Okay. So, her next door neighbor did have a camera on her house, mm -hmm. and about 45 minutes before she had to pick up her kids, mm -hmm. was the last time she was seen. She was seen in the car with her kids. Okay. That's what we used to okay? She didn't pick up her kids. But the day before, her Miguel went and picked up her kids. Okay. Well, so he would go with her to pick up the kids. He'd come pick her up, take her to go pick up the kids, and come back. Amber suggested on Wednesday that's exactly what they were doing. She never showed up to pick up her kids. She hasn't been seen since. She hasn't been on her phone. She hasn't been on any social media. So that's what all this is about. But the news said that she was somebody yellow fucking Pinkish truck. The uh, Pinsky truck. So we have all that on camera as well. Why would I who, who, who drive the Pinsky truck? Who, who was driving that? We, we've spoken to you. And he can account for all of his time during the time that she was not seen. Um, and we've been able to verify that. So where we are right now is trying to rule out Mikhail. That's okay. what all this all is right. about, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, sugarcoat it. Um, mm -hmm. Mikhail's the last person to see her alive. Mikhail had a bit of vested interest in her because he liked her. Mikhail found out about the, the Pinsky truck guy and called him and confronted him about it. We got an argument with him. Mm -hmm. So there is a little bit going on here. Okay. okay. So what we're trying to figure out is how has Mikhail been the last few days? How is he talk I know y'all know what's going on. He he been himself. He's been himself. He 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 he's been trying to cooperate with the police department to I try to help mm -hmm. find this girl because I will say that you know, you know so know, so a couple of things that we ran into was. Yeah, well, we asked him for a cell phone. He handed it right over. Nice. Mikhail right. has like four cell phones. He didn't volunteer that information. Okay. Um, we just pulled him over in the car. He had one in his pocket. And he just bought one the other yesterday. They pulled well, yesterday, that's, so that's, that's, that's how he get them. I understand. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I always I'm have. Trying you, to you understand. always have. Shit, I got two in my pocket. I know. I'm, I'm a simple man. Yeah. I'm just free. one for work. I don't understand what it is. Oh, he just like electronics. He just like that. But to have them all active. That's just him. Just, yeah, that's he's just him. That's him. It's not against the law to have. Who the fuck? Listen, it's not against the law. It's not against the law, but he always. Who in the city? Tell us that he had himself. Because we asked him if he had a mother. He said no. Who in the city? So we don't understand why he was being. Uh uh, the lady knew that he had all of them. Because she wanted that phone that he had. 
yeah. some information with. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, right. Hold on. yeah. Sergeant said you had a phone. It looked like you had a phone in your pocket a few minutes ago, but you don't have it now. And he said, I, I've got a flip phone, but it's not working. That's what he told the officer. And so. But the officer knows you can be there when I'm taking your shit. Uh, uh, you was here. That afternoon, mm -hmm. when he came here, when they took so that he had phone. two other phones, uh, the yeah, two they phones in his pocket, and showed them both. Right down, right down, down and the front porch. they took the one that uh, they saw the porch. And he went and bought them another one the next day. Just, okay. that's you know, a couple him. of days out. Yeah, I mean, couple, you know, who the hell, I mean, you're saying about three, four phones, that's weird, yeah. Who in the hell got a goddamn goat on a leash walking down the road? Got a goat train. Mikhail, you know? <laughs> Who got a pig train? Mikhail. Who got a snake train? Mikhail. So we're trying to learn about him, understand him, because we have a missing girl. He's never not picked up her kids. He gets a job to take care of her. He's always picked him up by 5.30. And there she you. is missing. She's mm -hmm. gone. And our last person we saw her. With him, with her, with him, and then by the time she should have been going to pick up her kids. Well, the kids have been in a lot of relationships with a lot of women, and with one kids. thing he won't he ain't gonna do, and I wish I would put my life on it, but I know he did nothing to that motherfucking girl. I know that. But see, he he, he only met that girl December 11th. We ain't been together in number a week and a half, two, two weeks. weeks. That's, and that's it. it. And he, he paid that for a daycare. He, he paid the daycare. He paid the daycare. Yes, he did. Her. And he used to take the kids to the daycare. And, he, and they and used to go together. Right. Uh-huh. And so, because I let him use the kid one time to say, I said, look, this your last time. Don't make it no habit. Take it no kid. This ain't no Uber driver. So, and stuff because, of the, you know. So what, what we're doing right about? now is trying to find anything, anything possible that could belong to her. Hey, that's she ain't no even been out of house. What time? I'm going to be honest with you. The reason person. why he parks his car at your house. Okay, that is why the search warrant is on he, your house. He, he parked that car there uh, uh, last, last night. night. Yes. That's the it. car is parked at your house, so we did the search warrant at your house. Hey, that's bullshit. So that's bullshit. Hey, 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 as the law yeah. enforcement officer, I we're trying to solve a crime. We're looking for evidence. But so we're looking, looking for evidence clothes. somewhere that he would visit or be at. Hey, we can't. We're not going to do it. Yeah, they're doing the search. You, well, um, you trying to close. I'm a woman. Yeah, what the fuck? So how you, how you we know figure out? We know she was wearing that. That's what we're looking for. Oh. oh. Okay. Um, she ain't going to be in my wife's bedroom. Her cell phone, any of her credit cards, debit cards. That's what they're looking for. No, I clean my house up every day, every morning, all day long. If you see any mess, he did it. Like that little fool on the table. <laughs> but it's unfortunate. But that's, yeah. that's why we're doing what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. I so, don't know what she had on, from panties to bras to hey, socks to, to whatever. To no, we just know what she had on. Okay. Uh, I, I don't even know what she had on. So that's what they're looking for. Okay. That and she can't wear these little clothes. They mine. <laughs> so, that's a big thing. Because mm -hmm. he visits your residence, because his car's parked there. Um, she went in my possibility. house, sir. She went in my house one time. It's on camera. She went in my house one time. One time. She didn't know what he's saying, because I'm getting mad. There's right a here. possibility that those things could have been stored at your house. If, if, uh, I got a camera, sir. Come on, baby. Don't don't get in the back and forth. Hey, he just explaining to you I, I, as to hey, what the proper his cause ass is myself. for him to go in our house. I whooped Mikhail ass myself. If I had anything, any conclusion that he did, so I called the damn police myself. But but if but if Mike come up and the last person to see him, we didn't do a thorough investigation as to try to solve it crime as to why he was missing and the person he last saw had had an issue with that person. People argue all the time. People argue. 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 It's a different. Yeah. yeah. It, I was. I look at this all the time. On I look at it. I know what y'all do. Y'all go to the one that last seen him. They can't pick up the like straw, but you got to Stephanie remember Campbell's in the process of it, even though they get a search warrant and doing all this, some of your rights are still being violated. Not mm -hmm. currently. The judge allowed it. So the 
That's not I'm mad at the judge because he should have waited. Yeah, what he the waited fuck they got late. to do with our house? <laughs> he waited too late. To, it's dark outside and it's cold it's outside. A, it's a, it's a, that, that's not on the judge. That, you said wait to the judge. Well, the judge signed it. We were waiting for video. We were waiting for video. Oh, video. Video is while we're Stephanie video? Somebody Stephanie video? You said a video? What kind of video? I'm not saying I'm going to hold the right and the laws and different well, things. They they but I didn't even see the search warrant. I didn't see it. They're not going in your house to the search. But why should she be locked out of house out here in this hazardous weather? Oh, y'all already searched the house. She might get in the morning if I do shit. Oh, they already got down in there? They're going inside, then the search warrant's on soon. But they did not show me the search warrant. They didn't even holler and say, hey, I got the search warrant. Come on, let's walk down this way, Michelle. What we do is we go in the house. Let's 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 go we can seize it without We could have got ruled about go it in. because you don't have, by law, you don't have a warrant. You couldn't have did shit. We can't go in until you we could, have Yeah, right. So you couldn't have did nothing. And you couldn't have forced us out. Not you sure couldn't you have stopped her from going in. We're not doing anything I'm illegal. just, but the one, I'm talking about the one of the officer. Yeah, we can now, hold Now, the I house. could have pushed the issue about it, but we're trying to cooperate and get this yeah. shit we over can, with. We can hold the house until the warrant's on scene. And that's just securing the home. That's all we're doing. Yeah, I wake up on my sleep and I talk to my wife and tell her where I ain't got no more understanding about okay. none of the situation. I'm going to go help them so we can get right. this knocked out. Thank, back you. You. Thank you. But if you think of anything that can help you, son, please come. How can she think me. anything? We don't, I, I don't know. Well, she's already given me all kinds of yeah, information. Yeah, we just that, trying to help the I mean, I already knew that, most everything she told me, but I might not know myself. something. I can't things. give you nothing but what my son The justification for all the cell phones, yeah. you know, I, I didn't know well, what Well, he, he always carries. Um, so that's the reason we have communication. Okay. He always carried it. He like electronics and phones and stuff like that. He but what that. I'm saying is this. He it's is not against not, the law to have hey, how many phones He want. is not all there to the point where he can answer certain kind of interrogation yeah. question without a fucking lawyer. He already got 10 years for nothing. Yep. That's and they violating his right up under the ADA Act. Mm -hmm. no, people with disabilities can commit crimes. But that's what I'm saying, and they, they, they have to be held accountable for that. That's I understand that's that. Because if he were to have killed you, he's going to want to go to jail. No, he's he going to die. Go if he kill her, no, I'm going to kill him. Understand that's the whole point. Straight up. You're still responsible for your actions. Yeah, you that's true. Right, right, right. I, I, I respect that. He lives a normal life. But, he just has a difficult disability. Yeah. He can take care of the animals. He can live on his own. And, and you he can get in an argument with a girl and get angry at her and regret what he did. But mistakes happen. And that's why we're here to see if this is exactly what it appears to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. hopefully it is not. Okay. I hope. Hope. Oh God knows it. But y'all acting as on. if it's already is, though. No, that's, that's the whole purpose I, of it. It's just a. I told do that, that boy to get him a lawyer. Don't go if they got some question. He don't have nothing to hide. But take him a lawyer down there with him. Don't fuck with these people, cause these people will cross your ass up. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go help you. I ain't gonna call. Right. I ain't if you have any questions, them. just ask for but Officer Prater. I, and I'll um, do all right, best. you you very but, kind. But sir. The, I will tell you that it's it's gonna be painful, but it's gonna take about an hour, maybe a little. Longer. Painful? What you mean by that? Like having to go to the bathroom and stuff. I it's, just went to the bathroom. They let me go to the bathroom. So you're good. Okay. But if you need to go, understand that they're going to have to escort you. I, see, I just went to the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> well, now, I, had to, I, get, I, got, I just went to the bathroom. All I had to do is keep the door cracked. <laughs> Your mama needs Why she to hear me pee pee? Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to head back up there. Right. If y'all got any issues, have Mike yell for me and I'll come help out as what best I can. You all right? All right. So I'm sure you have a lot of questions about what's going on today. Um, I'm here to try to alleviate a lot of that. Uh, basically, in essence, a lot of questions. I have some questions. Hopefully, we can have everything straightened out by the end of today, and we'll be done okay. But before I get into that, simply because you are here, you're where you are. I have to read your rights before I can talk to you about anything. All right. So before I ask.
ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. To have him or her with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, I'll be appointed for you free of charge before any questioning if you wish. If you decide to answer any questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering any time. You also have the right to stop answering any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand your rights? Okay. So, uh, my understanding is these different things. My understanding is that uh, you were in some manner of a relationship with Kayla. Is that correct? Who? Kayla. What? What about it? I said you were in some manner of a relationship with her. A relationship? Yeah. We've been broke up. Well, I'm saying previously. I'm not saying right now. I'm saying like. How did you guys know each other kind of thing? So everything that we've talked about, I know he just he's fresh, he's done with something different. I know that we've talked previously, but he doesn't have a lot of the information that we talked about last night, so or not last night, but the other day. So if there's things that he's asking you that may seem redundant or you know, out of context. cooperation and stuff so far, um, but there are some of the things that we need to talk about today. So what is your understanding of coming down here? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. I don't know. 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 For what reason? I don't understand. I don't understand. They keep writing me. And the girl keep writing me on Facebook saying my name. She got a motherfucking one on one. You know what I'm saying? Why she keeps lying on my name? I ain't got shit to do with it. Keep fucking with me for what reason? Even though told not to. Yeah, give me my name on Facebook. Don't female's calling me. This and that. All oh, your name all on Facebook. They know you ain't that person, man. They know you. you they know that girl over there. They know that girl sell pussy. Yeah. That's what she do all her life. She just got into it on Facebook with somebody else. With a whole other dude. Two of them cool men told me that. Man, they don't be getting to with everybody on Facebook. This know they should be beefing with everybody. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't, I don't even care about the girl. Feel me? The family don't even know me. I 
The neighbor that you went and talked to, okay, obviously we talked to all the neighbors too, mm -hmm. okay, and so I'm sure you're familiar, you're looking at Kayla's house, there's a neighbor to the left yeah. and the neighbor to the right that sits on the corner block, yeah. right? So the neighbor that you talked to that saw her get in that Penske truck, which one was that? Did you try to identify the Penske truck while you were there to help find Kayla? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I tried to help the family and this and all that, tried to help and this and all that. The auntie said, the auntie said, the girl whooped me Saturday. What do you mean? She whooped me Saturday. She was with you? Yeah, we were on the beach. Yeah, we were on the beach. beach. Yeah, sand the beach. And that's when we broke up. Mm -hmm. I told her, I told her, I said, shit, man, I said, man, I ain't gonna deal with all this shit, man. You, you got a motherfucker, your husband, you and your husband beefing right now. Yeah. I said, shit. Yeah. Because I said, man, I did not return to that. So, but whenever you go over to the neighbor's house, can you take me through your interaction with that neighbor? With well, that neighbor? Mm -hmm. I went up to the neighbor, I asked the neighbor, last time you seen Kayla. Mm -hmm. And she said, she said, I just seen her getting in a motherfucker's truck with some dudes. Well, she keep different dudes over there. Yeah. And shit like that. And I said, shit, I said, I said, I tell sister that shit. Mm -hmm. I said, shit, I said, you see the get in the yellow truck. You? I said, that's that same motherfucker truck I seen on the second. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying more about the trip. I see what I'm saying. Because I remember she wrote me. That's me to drop the kids off the day. Well, I dropped the kids off. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I pay the day. I pay the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I go inside the day. I pay the day. I Right now, and I need to know what happened. Mm -hmm. 
So that search warrant that we read to you, you get a copy of it, you get a copy of the property record, it says we collected those buckle swabs and your work boots, okay? So you get out, you come find me, I'll give you your boots back, alright? Um, he had me his wallet, hold on. Wallet, my phone, my phone. We, we taking all your phones, alright? We did search warrant at your house, we're still on your house right now, okay? Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on, right? Mm -hmm. Stuff we try to talk about in the future, if you want to talk to me, you got my number, this is my cell phone number. This is my phone this is my cell phone number. Yeah. If you want to talk, you now get on me, right? So I can't get my phone with another. No, that? sir. So when I'm done with your phone, so you can get them back. We're gonna download them, and it will, we will give them back to you. So if you get out, come find me, and we'll see where they're at as far as processing them. Okay. Um, but I'll, I will give them back to you when we're done with them. But I don't think you have a bond. He has no bond, right? No bond. You got, got a bond? It. Okay. You got a bond? You don't have a bond tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, good night still. Better be, otherwise I'm late on my assignment. <laughs> okay. Why well, ain't got no bond? Uh, it's because tampering with evidence is considered an offense that does not get you a bond until you are before a judge for your first time. Tampering with evidence about what? I've already explained this, man. I'm already deleting need, the footage. You don't need a copy of that, do you? I already have a copy of it. Are you ready? Yep. yep. I'll, uh, I'll walk down with you. Cool. After his court appearance the next day, he had a $50,000 bond, which he later released. Fat My Catch Out on the next part two will be released within 24 hours. Once again, rest in peace to Kayla Atwood. Love and condolences to her family. Fam, share your thoughts in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.